Jason here from OTR Performance, and today I'm gonna to show you how OTR Diagnostics works on this 2024 Freightliner Cascadia with the DD15 engine. So let's get started. So we already have the adapter connected to our phone, and what we're gonna do is just open up OTR Diagnostics. Once OTR Diagnostics open, it's just gonna go ahead and get connected, and once it's through the connection process, we're just gonna go ahead and see if this truck has any active fault codes, and we're just gonna go over all the features that we enable you on this 2024 truck. So on the dashboard, we have fault codes, your live data, and we also have the capability of seeing um, reset your fault codes and force regen. We have some hot buttons there so you can be able to initiate that without necessarily having to go into the commands menu. Let's just go into fault codes and see if we have any active fault codes right now on this truck. And currently it says that we have no active fault codes under the engine controller. So we, we track every single fault code from every single module here. So you're gonna be able to see this list once it gets updated depending on your vehicle configuration. So we're gonna go ahead into the commands menu and for the 2024 Freightliner Cascadia with a DD15 engine, we have a couple different things here available for you. We have reset fault codes, which reset all your fault codes at the dealer level. So this is gonna give you the same capability as the Detroit diagnostic software. And so if we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go into the reset after treatment, and in here we have reset ash accumulator and DPF zone levels. And this command resets the ash accumulator and the DPF zone levels in the MCM, CPC, and ACM. You know, if you do a, a replacement or a repair on your DPF filter, we're gonna go ahead and hit that reset. So we're gonna go ahead and just see what else there is. And we have forced DPF regen. Again, this is gonna be commanded once your truck is asking for a force regen or you're doing this as a preventative maintenance. Now there's certain fault codes that require you to do a DPF regen, especially if it's, you know, if you had an issue with your after treatment system, it wants to see a successful DPF regen in order for you to clear those fault codes. So here's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna go ahead and start the DPF regen and we're gonna get more information about the force DPF regen. We're gonna hit continue and we get a few warning signs and we're gonna confirm. And here we're gonna do a preconditions check we're gonna check these um, conditions and then we're gonna go ahead and successfully start the regen. And these precondition pre check on this Detroit diesel practically says we hold down the brake pedal and we sure we don't move. We release it once step three is complete. That's the safety part. For step two, we're gonna go over, we're gonna, we're gonna push to release the parking brake. We're gonna wait five seconds and then apply the parking brake. And step three, we're gonna do gear confirmation, which is when we're, we're gonna move it into first gear. We're gonna wait five seconds and then move it back into neutral. And that's gonna um, complete the preconditions check on the Detroit diesel. So once we complete that, we obviously wanna make sure the truck is running and then we go ahead and start the regen. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna go ahead and start the truck and we're just gonna hit um, start force regen after we did the preconditions check. So we just did the preconditions check and now we're ready to send the, the start force DPF regen command. And here you're gonna to get to the next screen and, and as you'll hear behind me, that force regen is gonna start uh, climbing. And what you wanna do here is just you wanna just track on the dashboard of OTR Diagnostics, you're gonna see a timer that you're gonna see of how long regen is and you're also gonna see your silt level. So that's just something to pay attention to is when you see your silt level go down to zero, your truck's automatically gonna turn off the regen. So we're gonna go ahead and just leave this running while we continue um, kind of going over the app and just go through live data. So what's awesome for OTR Diagnostics is we capture a lot of live data parameters so you're able to see exactly what's going down in real time. So you're able to practically track all the temperatures in your after treatment system to just see that your regen is successfully started and completed. And so you'll see your temperatures start rising because when a DPF regen is occurring, your temperatures are gonna rise in order for it to burn the soot out of your DPF filter. And we're just gonna go in here, and obviously in, in here in this list, we're tracking your DPF soot level. Right now it's 5%. We give you some information to get educated on what that is. Also with OTR Diagnostics, for this specific truck, you're able to track all your fault codes and you're actually able to track all the commands. So if you successfully start a regen or it's unsuccessful, we track that in the history of OTR Diagnostics. And what's cool about this is that you're able to also print and share the report. If you wanna share this with a fleet manager, a shop, or something like that, you're able to go ahead and extract that information of a fault code or a command. So everything that happens in OTR Diagnostics is saved in the cloud, so you can always reference it later. So we're gonna go ahead and let this truck finish off its regen. Now the truck just came down back to idle. This means that the force DPF regen just completed, and we're just gonna go through the app and just make sure it has no more fault codes and the temperatures and live data is correct. 
If you'd like to learn more about OTR Diagnostics, you can visit us at otrperformance.com or give us a call.